So if you follow me on my Instagram page, a lot of my followers have been asking me how do I do my little spaghetti straps on my dresses and jumpsuits. So I'm going to demonstrate today how to do these little spaghetti straps as shown on this dress that I have. It's pretty simple. All you need is this tool called a loop turner. Now what a loop turner is, is what most fashion designers use to make these little spaghetti straps for like their dresses and jumpsuits and so on. You can use a loop turner for a like little small straps on a purse. They're really good for of course these little spaghetti straps here and they're really good for um, frog closures and button loops that are really small like this. So I am going to take a piece of scrap fabric and what I'm going to do is fold it in half and sew along the side with a one-fourth of a seam allowance. And then I'm going to demonstrate how to use the loop turner. So I just sewed down the line of my strap. And if you need to clip any SS fabric, which I am about to do right now. So it's pretty simple and easy to use a loop turner. So all you want to do is uh, insert the loop turner through the tubing and push latch about one-fourth of an inch from the top of your fabric. So I'm just going to stick this in here. And the latch will be this little part right here that moves up and down, if you can see that. And you want to make sure it's kind of caught on to your fabric about one-fourth of an inch. just pull that end out with your hands and yes your strap should look something similar to this and whenever I flip it inside out I usually always iron down my straps for a more neater look but I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial on making your own spaghetti straps and if you want to purchase the loop turner you can actually get this from your um, Joanne store. I will leave a link at the bottom in the description bar where you can purchase it and you can also find it on sites such as eBay and Amazon and they usually run about three dollars and up and if there's any coupon code I will leave it in the description bar as well. See you next week for a new video. Bye!